everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and today you are here for my November 2023 Coloring Books and Supplies haul. I'm going to start with the supplies. Um, there's Black Friday stuff, there's um, just stuff I saw on sale, because the sales kind of go all through the month, so... It, you know, it's not like it used to be, where it's all like one day. I mean, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, I'm getting tired of having to pay attention like all the time. So, um, anyway, let's get started. I'm getting ready to do a pencil series, a pencil review series. So I did add a couple more sets to my collection that I wanted um, to round that out. Because I felt like there were a couple sets that I needed. Um, because a lot of people have them and I didn't have them all. I've been slowly collecting them. Um, budget sets. So let me see. Well, yeah, we can start with the pencils and get them out of the way. I got um, the Artisto watercolor pencils. I've had the Artisto pencils uh, for a year and a half now. And these were like 50% off. Um, so I got those. They are no longer in here. They, they come in a nice tin with the plastic. Uh, and they come with a card um, that's small, but I like the fact that I could leave it in the tin if I wanted to. Uh, so they do a good job of picking that up. I love their tins. My... Um, original pencils tin is different than the one that there's like a blue with a white tiger on it and I wish I had that one but mine had a bird a parrot on it um so let me show you the pencils so they are in this case which I got this case I got it for like $5.99 um because I'll watch for case sales like I don't want to pay a lot of money for cases so I'll, I'll watch for cases to be really cheap uh, so I stuck them in here. Um, as you can see, they are mm, hexagonal. Uh, they have the um, Artisto logo in gold, premium soft. There's a little water brush on there. There's a name and a number. And they are right here. And I'm telling you, I love the names. Like, there's Seance Purple, Rad or Raisin Purple, Fig Purple. Um, there's another good one. Papaya Orange, Musket Gray, Granite Gray, Gray Stone. I forget. There was another one. Flamingo Pink, of course. Mars Red. Their, their names are really cool. Dragon Fruit. So... I like that they're bright colors. They actually um, dissolved pretty well. I mean, I'm happy with the saturation on these. I thought that they were nice. I didn't think that they were terrible to use at all. I have had worse. So, very cool. Um, they're definitely worth, uh, what was it, 13, 13 or $14 that I paid for them. So, and this is a really cute case. If you're interested in anything that you see, I can try to give you a link for it. So, so I got those. Yeah, those are not pencils. <laughs> but I wanted, I wanted that particular set to go with my Artistro pencils. Um, next, I got the Hifforni colored pencils. Um, and I got them because uh, someone they keep saying they're like black widows and they are they're black um black wood uh, they come in this box and they were literally ten dollars no. so i was curious and uh so they come in these flimsy trees there's definitely nothing uh special about these in the the packaging department but that's okay i don't normally keep the packaging anyway um, so they are, what did I put them in? They're 72, I think they're in here. Here's another case that I got, which I think was in a different haul. I've had it for a while. Um, so here are the pencils. They are round, black, black wood, of course. Um, they have a name, a number, and a light fast reading. And then they say 40 on the other side. They are dipped on the end. 
Um, I can't remember how close the colors are. Hang on. I think I, did I swatch it on here? I guess I did. This card was fairly big, so I think I just swatched them on this card, and I might do them in a different order at some point. Um, I just felt like doing this, doing it really quick. Um, there's a one metallic, two, I guess there's a few, metallic violet, metallic teal, metallic orange, metallic gold, metallic silver, metallic cyan blue, cyan blue, and the metallic red. And the rest of them are just normal colors. They're bright. Um, they are soft. I thought they were easy to use. Oh, let me pick a, a darker color than that. Um, so, get them out of the way. There's, like I said, there's 72 of these. Oh, my phone's plugged in, so I keep hitting it. So, um... They are really nice. I don't know if I have tried to blend with them, but I'll um, get a red or a yellow and a blue. Let's see, my creamy yellow. Which would be which one? That's dark yellow. There's my creamy yellow. That's weird. Oh, that's pale yellow. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it's because the tip is kind of a greenish yellow, and I think it does have a little bit of green to it. I probably should use the light orange yellow, maybe, to blend with, or the autumn gold. Maybe we'll go with that one. And then add a blue color. Like, here's a blue 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 so that might work so I'll put this one down so they do blend I mean I'm not really putting a lot of pressure they are pretty soft um, they are definitely worth ten dollars that I can tell you um, so they do blend they aren't they don't have a particular lot of crumbs to them, I don't think. Um, they'll be in my pencil review series, so I'll be doing a uh, whole picture and the whole nine yards with them. So, which by the way, uh, I'm actually from no uh, December 1st through, what did we decide? December the 8th. Um, at like 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're doing a poll to see what type of order people would like to see the pencils reviewed in. Um, oops, I missed one. So if you're interested and you want to go leave a comment amongst the choices, uh, which is like uh, alphabetical order, um, price least to most, or if you want to see certain pencils first, um, so, but it, we would, it would be nice. I, both me and, um, Michelle at Kits and Caboodles posted cause she's going to be, um, adding on to my pencil review series. We're going to kind of do it in tandem, which is nice. I'm happy to have the help. So I can get rid of that. And then we have different sets of pencils. So, um, I did buy, because these were really cheap. $45, I think. $48. Um, I got a spare set of Chromaflow because I really love them. They, they work really nice in the Erie books. Um, so that was a really good deal considering how expensive they were in the beginning. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know where to stick this up. I did buy... I got a couple of spare cases. I got this one. Um... And then I bought this one. And they're both 184 pencils. Um, and now I don't know what I'm going to do. I have pencils to go in one of these cases. And these are like a vinyl. They're not cloth, they're vinyl. Which is kind of nice. You can wipe them off. And that one's like a map. 
So if you're interested in those, let me know. Um, what did I do with all the behind me? Uh, let's see. Oh, what will do these first? So another set of pencils that I got because they were insanely cheap. I think I got them for fourteen dollars with the case. Tong Fu. Um, one hundred and twenty pencils. They are in a really nice butterfly case. I mean, the case alone <laughs> is worth it, and the pencils are really nice. I really liked them. Uh, let's see. I did swatch them. Here they are. I used uh, my, uh, Renee, my coloring corner with Renee. Um, I used her swatch sheet because I couldn't find anything and I was in a hurry. And this set has some beautiful dark colors that you don't see. Um, this dark coffee is kind of amazing. There's some very rich colors in here. I thought that they were um, pretty soft. You know, um, I should lay that there if you want to get a really good look at it. Some of the colors, I mean, some of them are similar. It's, you know, I can't really complain too much. I mean, and they do um, blend. So let me see, I'll show you a pencil here. Let me grab a, <sighs> maybe what color is this? Um, or look at the sheet. I want a deep, hmm, do I want the deep Prussian blue or the lake blue? I don't really know. See how this does. Light dark blue, that should work. They are triangular, if you can see that. They are black, they have a dipped end, they say Tong Fu, the name, and they have a color number. Um, all on one side, they work in my, um, they're pretty skinny, so you're not going to have trouble in your pencil sharpener I wouldn't think I imagine the hand sharpeners it's a little harder to sharpen these oh let me do this yellow so we'll stick those over there oh I'll just like I'm not putting down very much pressure at all and these just glide on the paper I really like that um, as you can see, they blend, they just slide down on there. Um, they have really nice coverage. They look very similar, don't they? <laughs> it's a little darker yellow. Um, but yeah, these are totally worth it. I mean, if you want a decent, cheap set of pencils, I mean, these are, these are great. Like I said, the case alone is worth the 15 bucks that they were. They might be a little more now. I don't think they're ever more than like 20 or something like that. But it was an amazing deal. And I imagine that they'll have that deal again. Uh, but I had never seen them before and I was curious. They looked different and they are. So I was happy to add them to my collection. Um, so the only other pencil set I got was that I, I left that out. I picked up the 180 Brute Funer because so many people have them and I felt that if I was going to do a pencil review I needed, you know, to really put these in my collection. So I got those. I have not swatched these yet but so many people have them. I didn't feel like it was a big deal. I've got a case for them so I have to do that um, soon. I just haven't had time. Um, then, I think that's all the pencils. I did get some different, no, I have one more set of pencils. I picked these up at Ollie's. These are the Crayola Tricolor pencils, which I had never seen. There's like a dozen of them. <laughs> so I thought that was fun. I had never seen them before. Um, I haven't really got to play with them. Um, I mean, they're they're not as cool as the uh, Koenor ones. Let me find one with some different colors. This one's got some, and you have to spin them a little bit. But I don't, I don't think that they work as well as 
the Koenor. I mean, I can't really get much color differentiation in them, no matter how much I spin them. The colors might be too similar. I don't know. I mean, I can sometimes, depending. I mean, they're neat pencils. Uh, I was just a little disappointed, I think, in them. They have a nice little tin, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, or if I'm even going to keep them. But, uh, yeah, I was just a little disappointed in their lack of variation in the colors. But I'm going to have to try them um, and a couple things. I didn't even know that they had these. And that's what colors they are. Um, so, and I don't even know if they still produce them. I assume they do, but maybe not. But that was a fun little find. Then um, I picked up these. I saw these. I had never seen them before. And I was curious um, because there were 58 markers. Uh, you don't have to prime them. Uh, I did have to put numbers on them. Uh, they have, these have like a bullet nib. But you don't have to prime them. They're just... An acrylic marker so I was interested um, and I liked the colors I did swatch them out um, I, I I liked the amount of colors that you got it was a really good price I can't remember how much I paid but uh, they were it was I like how opaque they are they are fairly opaque um, let me see if I can show you I just need something to make a black line with. I'll use this. That might work. Uh, so we'll pick a color. How about this one? So. I mean, they have pretty nice coverage. Obviously, some of them are better than others. Um, I didn't expect a lot, to be honest, but I really like the fact that they came in this box and that I could leave them in the box, you know, and just pull out the colors um, like that. I'll probably have to put a rubber band on the lid, but that was cool. I didn't, not, not a lot of fuss with those. Then, um, I did get the, I finally got some Thule Art markers. I got the Earth and Skin Tones. So, these are these the Ultra Fine, so that's why they're a little scribbly, because my sheet was so big. So, it's 36. Um, they had, like, on this particular set, I think it was, like, 10 or 15% off, which is more than, it was a coupon for, like, 15% off. Um, so, I'm like, yeah, I want to try those. So, um, we'll see. They are, if you haven't seen them, they are really nice. They have numbers. Put one out here. Um, they have a number. Uh, they have names on the back. If you look on the back. But the name isn't on the marker. But they do have a little window here. You know, so they have a, a ball. They have a plastic tip. And you do have to prime them. Now they have, they come in different nib sizes, which I think sometime I might get the, the medium, I think it is, um, that has more of a bullety type nib, like a rounded nib. Um, but it does come with, I don't know if I can get them out or not, down in here, comes with a little information card and extra nibs but I can't find them they're in here somewhere but they come with replacement nibs like five replacement nibs and I guess so that you can I haven't tried to pull them out but that's kind of cool that they give those to you um, it's a really neat neat thing I didn't put them I was trying to put it back in here and didn't didn't get that so we'll see I'm gonna use them in my um 
because I needed some browns and, and skin tones and stuff like that for my uh, Disney color by number. Um, and I did pick the pick up the super golden markers. Um, they're cool. I thought I swatched them out, but I guess I didn't. Uh, they come wrapped. Uh, they are an acrylic paint marker that you have to prime, which I did. Um, let me pull my sheet over here. Let me see. It's been a little, it's been a minute since I opened them up and swatched them or played with them. So, because I think I've had these for a month. Well, maybe they don't work anymore. <laughs> maybe I need to send them back. I don't know if I can at this point. Hmm. Well, that's not good. It worked, I swear. Let me try a different one. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't such a good purchase after all. Yeah. There you go. I may have to shake this up a little more. I'm really failing at this, but uh, everybody has these. I've seen them like on a bunch of channels. So I gotta get them back. I swear I thought I swatched them. Um, but we'll see. I forget what I was gonna use them for. I thought they'd be good for a lot of the Christmas coloring that I'm doing. So let's see, anything else? Oh yes. Very excited. I finally got some Himi gouache. I haven't opened them. Um, I'm going to try it out. This is really nice. I had no idea how nice these sets were. I got one with 48 colors with upside down. Um, and then comes with these really nice pink brushes. These are really cute. Um, and then the, these are half cups. So you take the, oh, I don't know, I haven't tried to get them out. <laughs> I haven't really played with them at all. Um, but see, they're little, they're little half cups because I wanted to try them and get all 48 colors. And so we'll see. I'm going to try to li leave the lids on as much as I can because I don't want them to dry out. Um, I know you can re-wet them, but I'm super excited about these and I love this palette look at that that's a nice palette so they were they were on sale for Black Friday or Cyber Monday or something and you even got the swatch on the back which is nice and then finally <laughs> I got a 120 set of oil pastels extra soft um, now, from the reviews I saw, people said that these were decent pastels. I just wanted something to play with. And honestly, buying this set was just as cheap as buying, because they were on sale, so they were as cheap as buying um, a smaller set. So I felt kind of crazy, but you have two trays, and I can leave them in this box, which is nice. But you have two trays of oil pastel. Look, there's even some neons in here. Um, because I see people do amazing backgrounds, and it would—it was like, you know, it was like, we'll say twenty dollars for fifty or fifty-two, and then like thirty dollars for one hundred and twenty. So it really wasn't—I mean, I don't—that wasn't the actual price, but um, that's like an example. So it was more cost-effective to just get the bigger one. In the end, oh, I think they were a little cheaper than that, actually. Um, but everyone said they were decent, so I'm gonna try them out. Um, show you one. I haven't seen anybody use these. Here, let's get a magenta one out. So 
here's they're very soft and they mush around really nicely with your finger <laughs> um, I haven't tried I'm gonna get these all over my fingers aren't I um, let me see I thought I had a water brush with some water in it and then I thought that they did with water, but I guess not. I think these are, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Um, <laughs> I thought they were water soluble, but they're um, probably just solvent soluble. But that's neat. I like that. I know, I'm pretty sure you have to fix them. I'm probably thinking of something else, but um, I know you use salt. I know you can use solvent, so it doesn't make any sense now that I think about it. You know, if you use a solvent to move something, obviously water doesn't work. So, <laughs> but I couldn't get it to move well with water, which is nice. Um, shows you how much I know about oil pastels. Um, but yeah, these just go down super creamy. Um, so I have a feeling they're going to blend. You know, you don't, you barely have to touch them down to get them to to move and then you can make all these nice colors so that's going to be fun um i know you have to fix them because they don't really dry as far as i know i would need to do a little more research i've watched a couple of videos a long time ago um but i know there's some some nicer books i like my gel crayons and i like to use those but i think that these are useful in other ways and a lot of people do use them. And I've just been looking for a cost-effective way to get some, a decent set. So, I'm happy about that. Monty Mart Extra Soft Oil Pastels. So many colors. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna swatch them. I know that, because they have the colors, on the back of the lid but I know from looking at them they do not they're they're not close <laughs> so you can't use this um, for the colors unfortunately that would be nice if you could all right so let me put all of this stuff away because that's all the supplies that I have got like I said if anybody's interested let me know while I struggle with this and I will be right all right books that I have gotten in the month of November 2023. I did pick up a small victories because uh, this is going to be a useful tool um, in my um, colored pencil review because it's going to be one of the things that I use to color pictures. That's one of the reasons I and I love Johanna Basford's books. So this came out at a perfect time for me. I don't think I did a flip through on this. I got so busy in November that I, I have flip throughs filmed, but there's a million flip throughs of that. Um, another small book I got was Adriana Lay. This was uh, sent to me. There is a flip through on my channel on this one. It's the Advent Calendar Coloring Book, uh, and it is super cute Soxmas. So I gotta start coloring in that. I picked up Afternoon Tea from Creative Haven. Uh, this is going to be my new project book for my Celebration of Tea series uh, that is going to start December. I'm going to try to have the first video up December 6th. So um, I will be, we will be coloring if you want to join me in this book. Um, it is available on Amazon and at Dover and probably um, bookstores because uh, their books are always it's um, available in a lot of different places and this is by Teresa Goodrich so I'm very excited about that like I said there is a flip through on my channel of that um, I'm pretty sure I got a lot of books that everybody has uh, Matchstick Mouse a winter coloring book I was very excited about that so I already have a buddy color set up in December about that one 50 festive themed miniatures coloring book this one is a super cute one the newest one by Camellia Angel Kova 
love it. I think there's a flip through on my channel. I don't remember anymore. Um, I did pick up the new 50 Christmas Patterns Color by Number by Such and Such Diva. Uh, there is not a flip through of this one. I have not had time yet. I'm a mess. I, in November, I'm a mess. Total mess. So there's that one. Um, I did pick up Magic Lanterns by Morgana Sky. This was just a beautiful, beautiful book. And I love making glass, the the lanterns glow. Um, and this was just so pretty. Yeah, I haven't done a flip through of that either. <laughs> I did do a flip through of this one. I picked up the Happy Houseplant Coloring Book, 50 Plants to Color. I did a flip through. Did I post the flip through? I think I did. Um, this has really nice paper. This is printed by a printing company. It has nice, smooth thick paper. It's a little bit smaller than your eight and a half by 11. It gives you the plant, the name, and then the a little bit on the back side is the plant that's on this side, which I always hate because you're looking at it and you should be reading over here. So I don't know why they choose to do it that way. Um, but this is a really cool book. It is a little smaller than your regular eight and a half by 11. So kind of see that's the happy house plant coloring book um i did pick up i was doing some gabby wolf um adding because i love her books and i didn't have these i got uh wonder worlds volume one and volume two these are adorable books they've been out for a while uh so kind of isn't that adorable look at that These are just such, such cute books. Oh my gosh, love those. Uh, then I got the new Jade Summer Stress Relief coloring book, which is super cute. Just adorable cuteness. On this one. Oops, sorry. I shouldn't hit the, hit the camera. Um, so here is Serendipity. I also got this one, uh, by RJ Hampson, the newest one from him that we were all looking forward to. I've really got to start coloring in RJ Hampson every month. Gorgeous book. Uh, don't remember if I did a flip through or not. <laughs> Matchstick Mouse, Merry Little Christmas Coloring Book, um, is the storybook that he did that we can color, and it is so cute. Uh, so I'm excited about coloring some stuff. Oops. And this one. So I'm just going to take care of this right now. And I won't do that anymore. Um, uh, Adriana Lay, Enjoy Winter. I did a flip through of this one. They sent it to me to review and it is really cute. So I'm going to color a few pictures in this this month. And post them. That one cracks me up. Um, love that one. I picked up a couple of circulism art books. I did Noel and Christmas Time. I think I like these circles the best. Uh, this one looks like it's just going to be really cute and pretty. I love it. This is the premium paper, although to me it seems like it's not as shiny as it used to be. And this is the Christmas Time. So those are super pretty. I need to put these in my bedroom and just do them at night. <laughs> um, at the bookstore, I picked up a couple of color by numbers, Wild Ocean. You can see um, an amazing. These were at Books A Million. Um, I'll show you the answers. If you want to, you can see the pretty colors that they have in here. So I was excited about that to find these. They're they're actually not eight and a half by eleven. They're I mean they're not your standard book size. I thought they were because when you see them on Amazon they look different, but they're actually kind of they're not square either. They're a little bit. I could probably put this book on top. 
they're a little bit wider this way and then you know a little bit taller so but they're a neat a neat format so here's wild ocean i'm getting distracted there's another one that's like fantasy and i want that one too but they didn't have that so i got the ones that were uh, bargain priced because i think they're like 9.99 on amazon um i did uh, also pick up um at the graphic aviary for a bargain price at books a million this is a gorgeous gorgeous book it's really nice paper on this one too also at book of books a million i got kawaii these are available on amazon i've done flip throughs i did a flip through of this one for sure this is a cute book i don't know how i feel about the pink but i wanted to try it i think this will definitely be a pastel book um, but these images are so cute and it's really nice paper because it's printed by a printing company so it's smooth kind of thickish paper um, I did pick up cute fairy tales princesses and fables coloring book by Selena Fennec so this one's kind of cute I like fairy tales, so it was adorable. I picked up the new Alexandra Dannenmann, Merry Christmas, Volume 4. I have the other three volumes. Um, I believe I did a flip through of this. If not, I will put one up. I may not have felt like doing it because it wasn't Christmas. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, there's Merry Christmas. And I did get... Uh, nice Little Town Christmas 4, because I have all of those. And I love the pictures. I'm not sure there's anything earth-shattering here that everybody else doesn't have. Um, and then I picked up The Whimsical Houses, because I ordered the tea book off of Dover. And I wanted the free shipping, and I really liked this one, The Whimsical Houses. So this one's by um, Angela Porter. I guess her newest one. Some cute houses. And then I picked up Witchcraft Spellbinding Designs by Jessica Mazurkowitz. So that was cool. Picked up that one. And then since I ordered them from Dover, I got four of the sticker books because they have stickers. And I got the garden gnomes, and these are so cute. You know, there's like 20 stickers in here. So these are the Teresa Goodrich gnomes. If you think about ordering them, I think they're like $1.99 for these. And then I've got the Christmas ones. So we'll just flip through these so you can see the little gnomes. One more. Come on. There you go. Those are so cute. Then I got the Jurassic Dinosaurs. <laughs> I love their little sticker books. I think that they are so cool. And it tells you what they all are, which is neat. And then I got carousel animals. Because I love carousel horses. And I am looking for a really good carousel coloring book, but I can't find one. But there you go. That is all I got. Oh, goodness. So, I hope you all enjoyed. I know I went through it fast, and I feel bad because I don't have... I'm pretty sure I don't have flip-throughs up of half of these books. But if anybody wants one that they can't find, let me know. I may yet put flip-throughs up. I know there's several that I have filmed that I have not put up on my channel that I need to. I just got so busy that I couldn't. So thank you very much. I hope you all have a great holiday season. Um, I'm sure if I if I buy anything else, I'll probably do a haul mid month because um, I know I've got a couple of Christmas books coming um, that uh, someone wanted me to review. So um, I'm 
or there's a Christmas and a, and a fantasy. So I know that I need to get that up uh, for people to buy for Christmas if they want it. So um, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a great month. Bye.